personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, out here in this park, getting my getting my walk in, getting the blood flowing before we go we go to these gyms and get started with a very long day. But um, yeah, man, I wanted to talk about this because this is interesting because you know we always talk about. Nayawa Inoue versus Stephen Fulton, you know, it's the, it's the road to Inoue Fulton, it's the road to Japan, you know, support the GoFundMe, uh, I, I'll, I'll leave the comment in the pin comment in the comments, but um, we never, we, I almost never talk about his brother, Takuma Inoue, you know, he who's a, who's a solid fighter, a good little fighter, but just, you know, he's not the special generational talent that uh, his brother, the monster, Nayawa Inoue is, you know, so uh, well, let's talk about Takuma Inoue. Because Takuma Inoue, he's going to be having the biggest opportunity of his career since he lost to Nordino Bali for the WBC title when he challenged for it back in 2019. He will now be fighting for the vacant WBA Bantamweight title, which was recently just vacated by his brother, Nayawa Inoue, as Inoue is moving up to 122. And he's going to have a second, a second shot at glory, a second crack at the brass ring to try to become champion again. And uh, Takuma Inoue will be taking on a uh, 40-year-old Liborio Solis. Now, Liborio Solis, been a veteran fighter, been around for a while. Um, the last time he lost a fight, Solis, I'm talking about, he fought, it was to Guillermo Rigondeaux about, I'm going to say like three years ago, 2020. And since then, you know, he's he's picked up like five wins against, you know, whatever opposition. You know, he, he fought like an 0-7 guy. He fought some 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 guys with some bad records like two two of the guys had bad records two of the guys had decent records you know he's good good veteran fighter I, i'm not i'm not exactly sure how the hell he got up to that high of a ranking to get a title shot but you know it's boxing and sometimes these matchups don't make the most sense in the world and you know it's a lot of a lot, a lot of it is just politics and knowing the right people and beating the right guys who are politically connected in the ranking so it's just like i guess he went ahead and did that but um what an opportunity for Takuma Inoue, you know, to to become the second champion in the family. Um, I like Takuma Inoue, you know. I remember a couple years ago when he fought Nordinu Bali, and, and and mind you, Obali, while he wasn't no special fighter, he was a, a good, solid fighter with amateur background, physically strong, southpaw fighter. Um, and Takuma Inoue fought him, and and I thought I actually thought when they fought that he did enough to win. He didn't get the decision, which is okay, but he showed, I think, an excellent blend of boxing skills, an excellent blend of counter punching, and, and ring IQ. And that was all the way back when he fought at what, what, what weight class was that? I believe it was a one. Yeah, something like that. I, I, I forgot what weight class they fought at. Might have been 118. Yeah, because Ubali, Ubali was champion at. So I had to fact check myself. Yeah, Ubali was the WBC uh, bantamweight champion, and um, you know Takuma had fallen just short, and I, and I thought he put up a great showing and and whatnot. But uh, yeah, he's had. Listen, Takuma, he he experimented with, with the move. I think his, was his last fight, uh, one of his last couple of fights. He he had fought at 122, kind of experimented with the move move up there. Um, you know, it, it, it was all right, but you know he wants the world title shot. I think he's a bigger stronger guy at 118 and mind you Takuma Inoue is not a big puncher he's a guy that um you like Stephen Fulton for example Stephen Fulton says you know if Inoue didn't have power would he still be this great fighter and I think he would be but I you know I think on a on a lesser scale Takuma Inoue is what Nayoa Inoue would be if Inoue didn't have power uh, which would be a, a very well schooled boxer with good timing and good counter punching, but just doesn't have the power to keep guys honest. That's that's what he is. So I'm looking very forward to seeing him take on Liborio Solis because Solis is a veteran fighter, has been in there with a lot of a lot of names, and you know, with with Solis being 40 years old, you know, it won't be much longer till uh, he retires. This might be his like last real shot at glory, you know. So he's gonna go out there and I, I think give it his best, and sometimes like. Those kind of fighters are the most dangerous, the ones that um, had nothing to lose and everything to gain. So it's going to be a really good fight, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be on the undercard of um, Ken Shiro versus Jonathan Gonzalez. So that'll be April 8th. So look out for this. I'm, I'm looking at this being a, maybe a co-main event or, or somewhere around there because, like I said, they're in Japan. 
Uh, I know Takuma isn't the star his brother is over there, and but who who really is at this point, right? Uh, but you know, I think him winning a world title would be massive for him and and and, and Japanese boxing move forward because now then all of a sudden you would have uh, both both fighters uh, being champions. This, this this won't be like Manny Pacquiao and Bobby Bobby Pacquiao for those for those who know. Manny Pacquiao had a brother named Bobby Pacquiao who was a solid little fighter, but he never won no world title. So hopefully, this you know he can win that world title just for just so just so that like this don't wind up being like Manny Pacquiao and Bobby Bobby Pacquiao type thing. But uh, that's the news. Takuma Inoue, Liboyo Solis, WBA bantamweight title on the line. Uh, Ken Shiro, Jonathan Gonzalez undercard that'll be April the eighth. So save the date. Don't be late. Make sure you watch the fight. And I will definitely be covering uh, Takuma Anoi here on True School Sports because, you know, I need more Takuma Anoi, uh, Takuma Anoi videos. You know, we, we always talk about the, the, the monster, Naoya Anoi, but we need to talk about Takuma as well. So that's what we're doing here. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns about the fight. Uh, make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. Continue to support True School Sports, all the great things we have going on in the sport of boxing here. And uh, yeah, like I say at every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.